Okay, to show how versatile the ProLab is for a three station, we've set this one up with Trival as our activator. Using Trival as an activator, we'll be able to plate on to any metal that is already ready to plate, any nickel plated item, and we'll also be able to plate gold directly onto stainless steel. Now we've got it set up with two different power supplies. We've got one for our pre-treatment, and then we've got another one over here for the gold. And with that, we're considering the first two towers as our pre-treatment, as our electroclean and our trival activation. And the third tower is set up right now for our bright gold solution. And the way we're able to have a separate power control, even if we wanted to have a common lead, is we've only connected the black interconnect cable in the back. And that keeps the voltage separate for that particular tower. Now we've got our, <coughs> our rinse speaker set up with rinse water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rack up, we've got these nickel plated 44 Magnum key tags that I put together a few years ago for a gun show. So these are a nickel plated item. And then we've got these stainless steel dog tag blanks. We didn't do any polishing on them. We're just plating them exactly as they come. And we're gonna do four of each item. And it's really pretty unusual to be able to plate stainless steel and a nickel item at the same time with the same activation, but that's what the beauty of Trival. So the first, first of all, we'll go into our electroclean solution. We're, we're doing that at, at around five volts and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And I like to electroclean, especially with the stainless steel item, 30 seconds to a minute, just to make sure that the surface wets out and is accessible for all of the subsequent plating solutions. So what's the reason why you can't plate two different types of metals? Stainless requires a special activation where you activate and simultaneously deposit some other metal, like a Woods Nickel Strike, you put on a very thin layer of nickel. Or with the Acid Gold Strike, we're putting on a very thin layer of gold, and you'll be able to see that when I come out. And once you've got that, then you, you can plate it with anything. So why is the tri-valve able to activate both of those metals? Well, the tri-valve is an excellent activator for for any metal that can be activated with an acid base activator. Um, however, Trival does contain the gold in there that is simultaneously deposited, preventing reoxidation of the chromium in the stainless steel. See, it's the chrome in, it's in the stainless steel that keeps your bumper on your car from corroding or your bath fixtures from corroding. And the, the chrome is very inert and so we have to be able to reduce that chrome layer, the chromium oxide layer, and simultaneously deposit gold. If we, if we don't, as soon as we take it out, the chromium would re-oxidize and we'd have an adhesion problem. Okay, that's been long enough for the electroclean. We're going to our wrench here. to the rinse right before the tri valve. So why double rinse? Because we don't want to drag solution from our electroclean into our tri valve. In fact, if I were doing a lot of these racks, I would have three or maybe even four rinses. Okay, here they are. You can see, I don't know, maybe you'd be able to see, the, the surface of the dog tags has really wet out well. There's no place where they're drying more quickly or where we get what we call water breaks. Okay, now we're gonna go into our tri valve. And we're only gonna do this for probably about 15 seconds. And when I bring them out after 15 seconds, you'll clearly be able to see the light yellow layer of gold that I was talking about. 
least I hope you can see it. I can see it. Okay, after the tribe out, we're going to go into the gold tree rinse. And then to make, <clears throat> the gold is so expensive, I want to make sure I don't contaminate the gold solution with the tri valve. And so I am going to go through a double stage rinse. I'm going to go from this rinse into another distilled water rinse. And then we're going to go into our gold solution. And we're in about 2.6, 2.7 volts. And you can see we're right at 100 degrees Fahrenheit which is perfect for the gold. So we, what? I'm sorry. I was just going to say the the Pro Lab has the air agitation. Our drill master does not. What's the benefit of the air agitation? The air agitation is really important, particularly if you want to be able to play either a lot of pieces or any piece for a long period of time. And the, the key to plating with some solutions is you always want to have fresh solution in contact with the part. And if you've got a, a totally stagnant solution, then the solution that's touching the part chemically changes right at the exact interface with the part. And so with, with any kind of air, ad, there, it, it can be air agitation, it could be agitation from a pump, it could be a situation where you switch it back and forth by hand, which is what a lot of people do with the drill master. But with the air agitation, you can just sit and forget. Now I would plate, if I were plating a jewelry grade thickness on these, I would plate them for three to five minutes. If like that, the, the 44 Magnum cartridge that for a key tag, that would want to be really heavy gold. So I could plate that for 10, 15, 20 minutes if I wanted to, to really put the gold on thick. All right, so go ahead and take it out. Okay, it's probably been long enough to get a good decorative coat on there. And we'll pull it off the titanium bus bar. And you can see, although it had, they have the purple solution, they definitely have a nice layer of 24 karat gold on there. We'll take them in with the rinse. they look as good on the video as they do in person because they look great all right guys now we're going to show you how easy it is to insert a nickel pro lab tower to this three station setup for those that might be interested in adding a nickel layer before going into the gold